Here, a cell of electromagnetic force E and negligible internal resistance. Whew, don't you worry about the internal resistance. It's connected to a circuit. The circuit has currents 1, 2, 3. And potential difference 1, 2, 3. Which equation represents a statement for Kir Kirchhoff's first law? First law you need to know is about current. So anything that has voltage, uh, you can straight away throw outside already. Throw out the window. We, we are not looking at voltage here. Current. Okay, current. We need to look at current at a junction. Kirchhoff's first law state that the, all the sum of current, total current, into a junction is the sum, you add together, of the current out of a junction. Makes sense, right? Two cars go into a junction. Two cars must come out of the junction. <laughs> you can't just have something missing or disappearing. So the junction could be something like this. Something come in, something must come out. So if here is I1, let's say we look at this junction right here. I1 come in, then I2 and I3 come out. Oh. So it has to be I1, whatever that value is, must be the total of I2 plus I3. So that one will be choice A as the best answer. Yay! Uh, if you have to plug in values, uh, then it might look something like this. If this one, <clears throat> 4 amps come in, then here must be 3 m or 1 m, something like that. 3 plus 1 is 4. Ma. Sure, this is one possible combo. As long as whatever going in must come out. What goes in, comes right out. Okay.